Emmy, the new transfer student's gonna be sitting next to you, right? Hey, she looks pretty cool, don't you think? Cool? I don't see it. Look! She's helping Molly clean the blackboard. She's so nice! And so tall! She's even taller than my neighbor! And my neighbor's already 11. <laughs> tall? I'm tall. <laughs> so why is she in elementary school? You know what I think? I think she didn't go on to middle school, cuz... She's an idiot. You damn brats! Just you wait! Good morning, my dear human children. It's snack time. We've got pineapple buns today. Thank you, Miss Grace. Who the hell is that? Right, right. Uh, there's something else I need to tell you all. We are having a field trip soon. We're going to Lumina Square, kids, and we're even doing a choir. So, are you all excited? You and Grace infiltrated the school to investigate a hollow. I thought this was some sort of prank show. I never understood the point of those shows. Of course it's for official business. Okay, starting from the top. Hey! Don't look bored already? I'll make it short. Bellabog took a job to renovate that elementary school, the one you saw in the video. When construction was finished, I went to check the site and found that there was a new companion hollow nearby. The hollow is located in the abandoned parking lot just outside the construction area. It appeared recently, and if it's not contained, it might expand to the school. We've been talking with the school's principal. I told him it's best to report the hollow to the city administration so they could deal with it. And you're coming to us because the city can't deal with it, aren't you? Hmm, it hasn't gotten that bad yet. From what I've seen of its size, if the association sent someone, they should be able to deal with it. But that's what's weird. The principal didn't report the hollow and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. He paid the rest of our fee the very next day. I've never seen a single client who doesn't drag their feet when it comes to payments. It's almost like he wants Bellabog off his tail. Well, if we're going by normal industry practices, we'd have no reason to dig into this. After construction has been fully completed and inspections have been passed, Bellabog holds no responsibility for any future impact caused by hollows. Even if the hollow really did end up affecting the school, this clause can protect Bellabog from all consequences and responsibilities. However, if that really ends up happening, the students and the teachers of that school may find themselves in danger. I see now. You aren't the type to stand by and let this happen. That's right, Wise. You hit the nail on the head, as expected. For uh, certain reasons, Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise to get access to the only entrance to the Hollow. Anton helped us find some connections, and I left the daily operations to Ben. Uh, my responsibilities I've just been handling at night. Anyway, we finally found the opportunity we needed during the field trip to Lumina Square in a few days. All the students and teachers will leave the school and head to the square. Even if the hollow gets out of control, we can make sure as few people as possible are at risk. So, that's the situation. Bell, Weiss, I assume you're gonna take the commission?
Wise, you're here. How's Eos doing? Is your sister taking good care of that little cutie? I got my hands on some amazing lubricant from the outer ring. If you put some into the Bangu's base, it can drip out of the eyes. How about Eos give it a go? Hey, aren't you a teacher right now? Did you leave your character alone with that dress at home? Oh my, I almost forgot. So, little Kaleida, how about you call me Teach and help me get back into character? <sighs> Miss Grace, there's three students hiding because they had a fight. If we don't find them, we can't do the choir. Well, that just won't do. Unfortunately, Ms. Grace still has some stuff to take care of, all right? So can Kaleida go and find them with this pro... Uh, with this young man? If you manage to find them, then... As a reward, Ms. Grace will give you the hammer she forged at a university internship. Wh what? Uh, shouldn't you give out a, a star sticker or snacks or something? Ms. Grace, can I have the hammer? So long as you find those three kids and convince them to come back to join the choir, you can have whatever you want. The only entrance to the hollow is in the abandoned parking lot near the school. We've already confirmed that the keys to the parking lot are with the principal. Usually, we wouldn't get a chance to get near him. But today, the principal will come to see the choir. While his attention is on the performance, we can figure out a way to steal his keys. So the only way to obtain the keys is to ensure the choir goes ahead with no issues. That's why we need to deal with those three little ones who had an argument. Can I leave this to you? I suppose we have to. I'll wait for the good news then. Little Kaleida, Ms. Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member? I just got a new batch of scrap. Come back soon. Chatting with young people is a delight.
understand, Lisa? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your fault? It's not like you need stupid friends like us. Once you're at that rich kid's school, you can probably get better friends. Come on now. If you're afraid of Emmy getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. It's not that simple. Wait, no! Then we'll be leaving you all alone. I don't want that. That wouldn't be okay? It, it's not okay. Hey, calm down. Lisha was just joking. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFFs. Just like the fish in the boat. Even though the boat went to the water park, it was still the fish's best friend, right? Wait, didn't you say you thought those lyrics were stupid? Uh, they are. Uh. But not as stupid as me. I was so stupid that I didn't tell you about something as important as transferring schools, because I was so scared I'd make you too mad. Hemi, you aren't stupid. You're the coolest kid I know. I love being your friend. Hmm. Well, even though the new transfer student, Kaleida, is pretty cool, I like Dan and Emmy the most. Ugh, don't bring up that imposter. Ooh, is Emmy jealous? Uh, uh, hey. Um, Miss Grace says we need to get to the choir. Uh-oh. It looks like she heard you. Mm, nope. I didn't hear anything. I wouldn't care even if I did. I have more important things to worry about than my popularity among some little kid. Oh, fudge. The principal. I I'm gonna hide for now, Broxy. We could chat over to the choir and check on things in a bit. Thanks to you all, the choir is back to business. Now for the key. The principal sure is immersed in the singing. I just checked. He put his keys in his pocket. Now we just need to carefully approach him. Give me a signal for when I should strike. Ah, oh, not bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm, beautiful singing, yes. Wait just a little longer. All right, I'll wait for your signal. Good, very good. Mm, everyone is in sync. Now. <gasps> I got it! Oh, wait, no! Rat, it slipped out of my grasp. Ugh, why didn't Anton let me bring that magnetic arm? What's with these lyrics? Okay, now. All right, got it. Hmm? Huh? Miss Grace? Well, why are you so close? You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Uh, I... well... Mr. Principal. Oh, Emmy, good job just now. Thank you. Um, you know your clothes are dirty? They're covered in dust. I think Miss Grace just wanted to help you dust them off. Hmm? Dust? Oh, this dust. I, um, accidentally got it on me. Uh, yes, it's, it's chalk. I accidentally got chalk on me. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Um, uh, on the other hand, Miss Grace, your outfit is strange. As a teacher and, and a model to your students, what do you have to say for yourself? Oops, <laughs> sorry. Guess I won't wear it again. <clears throat> Although your outfit lacks sophistication, as a new teacher, this field trip of yours was quite a success. We must view these things in separation. Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. All right, I have other things to do now. Miss Grace, I shall leave the children to you. Please bring them back to school safely. Is like a broken water pump with all the meaningless noise he makes. Wise, I've given the key to Kaleida. She's headed off to get Anton and Ben for the next part of the plan. You should head back and prepare. She'll be in contact soon.
can't be the entire hollow. Uh, let's keep going and explore further. Uh, is this a railroad switch? Weird. It looks like a mining one. Seems like we're going in the right direction. Let's give it a gentle hammering. Well, this wall is tough, but my hammer is harder. Again! <laughs> There's the path. Follow me, Bronzy. No, I've never liked that principal. Obviously, he's super suspicious. I mean, what principal would just leave a hollow to grow all willy-nilly next to his school? And even try to cover it up? But it's not just because of that. I... I'm not great at dealing with adults who are so... adult-like. I never get what they're thinking. They barely ever say what they're really thinking. Maybe they'll spill to their friends, but to their family? Yeah, never. Is this bringing up memories of your father? <laughs> no way! Now's not the time for chit chat, though. Let's go, Proxy. If you need my hammer, just say the word. I have detected unusual activities in a certain area. That must be the real entrance to the hollow. Lead the way, Proxy. If you need me to smash some walls, just say the word. Try. Hey, it's starting to loosen. Let's give it another try. You can either eliminate them and proceed.
take this. here aren't very big. Seems like the ether concentration isn't too high. However, the environment is highly unstable, meaning that it's often disturbed. There sure were a lot of ether crystal mines just now. That's right. All this points to one conclusion. Someone has been illegally mining ether resources here. <laughs> How much you want to bet all this dust in the air is just like that chalk? on the principal's clothes just now. Yeah. It seems the principal must have something to do with what's happening here. Oh, damn it! He's turned this hollow into a ticking time bomb! And right next to the school, too. This hollow is extremely unstable. It could rapidly expand at any moment. Roxy, can I ask you a favor? From here on out, please do whatever you can to avoid fighting. It'll just disturb the ether environment even further. I'm worried something's gonna happen. I understand. Just leave it to me. Thanks. I'm counting on you. L let's continue, but be careful. I have marked a suspicious location for you, Master. I am unable to assess the threat level nearby due to the sealed gate. I have located the verification devices needed. Wise, can you get through? Hey, it's starting to loosen! Let's give it another try! We are getting closer to one of the verification devices, Master. This little gadget's a bit complicated. Hey, it's starting to loosen! Let's give it another try! Please be careful. The sound of the wall collapsing has attracted ethereals. Careful! There might be explosives here. Uh, let's come up with another plan. Hey! It's starting to loosen! Let's give it another try! It appears the it appears a battle. Yeah. <laughs> 
Verification completed. The door is open. Successful. Opening valve. Master, I must remind you. Principal? 
When did he get back? If it isn't the president of Bellabog Industries, Miss Bellabog, it has been a while. Or should I call you our newest transfer student, young Kaleida? Don't be so surprised. Your name may not be in the register, nor have you ever shown your face to me. But as the principal of the school, I have my ways of knowing. Though I am a little late to the scene, I realized you were scheming something. It's good I arrived on time. President Kaleida, are you not busy? No matter how much you enjoy playing house, don't forget that you have more important things to do than interfering with my gold mine. Uh, excuse me, but since I'm already here, does that mean you'd know something about the group of criminals illegally mining ether resources, making the hollow more and more unstable? What? Is that so? I had no idea. They're right next to you. You gonna stick to that story even if the association comes? Nothing's happened with this hollow yet. So why would the association get involved? They have countless more urgent hollow disasters to deal with every day. Meanwhile, this risk is just that. A risk, and nothing more. We can bet Denny's on it. Even if you send the association the coordinates, all they'll do is call me to confirm its existence. By the time they actually send someone here, my child might already be in university. <sighs> Little president. This is the world of grown-ups. The rules of the game are made for mature adults. You still have the chance to learn these rules. Do me a favor and try the mature thing for a change. Run along now, go watch a play, cry a bit. Let go of your unnecessary sense of justice and forget all that happened here. By the way, my good friend is looking for a contractor. Should I give him a call and mention Bellabog Heavy Industries? Uh, you're really treating me like a kid. Huh? Who said you could leave just like that? Wait a sec, Kaleida. This is dangerous. Stay close. Oh, welcome back, President Kaleida. Oh, poor me. <laughs> I feel like a tired office worker trying to meet their deadlines at a cafe, and there's a crying child that just won't shut up. Nothing is just black or white. And in the gray area, I just want to make a little extra dough. That's not against the rules. Why do you insist on harassing an aging father who simply wants to make some extra income to give his child a better life? an education. How do you have the nerve to say that? So your kid deserves a better life, huh? She's not the only kid. Have you never once thought of how, if the hollow expanded, all the other kids in your school would be in danger too? It won't. My luck has always been good. You see, sometimes you simply have to believe in your luck for it to do its job. And on the off chance things don't work out, it wouldn't be my responsibility. After all, if you and your people clashed with these thugs in the hollow, thereby causing an unfortunate disaster, that's not something I can help, right? That principle sure is a slippery one, but... Listen up, boys! Let's teach these punks a lesson. Oh no. If they start a fight now, it'll disturb the ether environment. These bastards! The hell is wrong with you? Hollow activity is on the rise. We'll just have to send them off first. Shut it. Sick. Look at me! 
Thank you for your patronage. Help me do this. Clear out. Is rapidly expanding. Wise, Kaleda, is everyone okay? Uh, uh, damn it! Damn it! What was the point of just us being careful? They still got away, and the hollow's expanding anyway! Oh, damn it! Damn it! If only I'd. Calm down, Kaleda. Give me some time to gather post expansion data. I'll find them. Collecting hollow expansion data. The hollow activity is immensely high, requiring the collection of a significant amount of data. Please ensure I have stable access to electricity, second assistant. I'd stop charging my console. That's all the electricity we've got, so use it wisely, all right? Collecting data. Currently collecting data from master surroundings. Lost item data. Bangu activity data. Human voice print data. Hey, what does any of that have to do with the hollow's expansion? You better cough up some money for that electricity you're wasting. Master, I have captured a nearby human voice not belonging to that prior group. Now broadcasting. Um, me. Transfer student. Over here. It's this way. That voice. Emmy. But why is she here? Can you locate her coordinates, Bell? I can, but I'll need some time. The worst case scenario would be if the expanding hollow reaches the school, and Emmy isn't the only kid who gets caught up in it. It's gonna be all right, Kaleda. Let's retreat for now and check on the kids, then return as soon as possible. I got it. I'll go find Grace and find out what's happening. I'll head out then. Let me know if anything else happens, Proxy.
See, thanks for coming so quickly. Just in case, I brought Anton, Ben, and Grace with me. Hi, everyone. And hello, Miss Grace. We'll need as much help as we can get if we want to find those three missing children. Oh, my. My heart is pounding. <laughs> oh, so this is how it feels to be called that by a bang boo? I've located the areas of the hollow with biosignals. We'll need to split up and check each of them in turn. Right. That'll be much faster. Then I'll go with the proxy. Be careful, everyone. Let's split. Let's get going too, Proxy! A key? Who dropped it? Detected a biosignature about. Unfortunately, it isn't our rescue target, but one of the bandits you ran into previously. Given his unstable vital signs, I have ruled out the possibility. <laughs> Are you guys going to get me out of the hollow? Just two good people in this world. No, I'm not one of them. You can ask me anything as long as you get me out of here. I'm a salvation break room, which kept most of the ether corruption at bay. After the hollow experiment, I was ordered to stay behind. I have no idea where the break room is now. Now that you mentioned it, I, I did hear a child's voice while the hollow was expanding, but I didn't have time to go look. Huge ethereals were popping up all over the place. I just wanted to get away. I don't want to survive because of this pig iron gate. Master, sorry for interrupting, but there's an emergency call from Anton. Connecting the call now. There's a kid here, but a bunch of ethereals have spotted us. I have marked the nearest route for you, Master. Let's find a way to get over there, Wes. Perfect timing. Now we can deal with the obstacles up ahead. Is that Ben? Ah, he's surrounded by Ethereals! President Proxy Grace! Oh, thank goodness you're here. I wanted to help Anton, but I was too clumsy trying to avoid these Ethereals. <laughs> Should we fight, Proxy?
Please allow me to help, President. I've got to protect this child. I'll leave the fighting to you guys! figure out what he's doing. Wait, your guardian's here? Where? You really haven't figured it out? The principal you've been after is my father. <laughs> you couldn't even manage to figure that out? Even after wearing that uniform with your pineapple bun, trying to pretend to be a kid with your silly high-pitched voice? Grown-ups are so stupid. Is that right? Well, now that I look at you, you do look pretty similar to that jerk. Take after mom. Sorry, I never realized. Um, I'm... I'm... not so good at figuring out father-daughter... stuff. So, when the principal said he had his ways of knowing, he was talking about you, wasn't he? You probably noticed we look weird and told the principal! So, why would you follow him in here? Didn't I tell you already? Just like you, I want to know what he's doing in this hollow, too. After the hollow appeared near the school, Dad started coming home with this weird dust on his clothes. I thought it was super sus. My dad cares a lot about being clean and tidy, so why would he wear dirty clothes all the time? And then, he started getting into arguments with Mom. I didn't know why. Mom left. Dad got a new car to take me to school in. It was really big and nice, but I was scared. I was scared this money we were using was dirty. Like, covered in that gross dust. The kind of dirty you can't ever wash out, no matter how hard you try. You said your dad wanted to transfer you to a new school. Yep, because I'm really smart. He probably wants to send me off to some expensive private middle school. Or maybe... He knows just how dangerous mining in the hollow could be and was afraid something would happen to you. In the end, he's still your father, so I think maybe he wants to protect you. Hmm. Maybe. That bastard. That principal might just be a decent father after all. He's not getting paid to be a father. He's getting paid to be a principal who should be responsible for the students and teachers of the school. He's the one who caused this disaster with the Hollow. He colluded with those... those thugs, and now these three kids are lost in here? Wait. There are other kids lost in here besides me? Oh no. I hope it's not... Ugh. Dan and Leisha. Those idiots! I told them I'd go on this adventure alone! You three often adventure into the hollow? And no one, like, does anything about that? Ugh. Stupid. It's all my fault. They came because they were worried about me. I need to find them. It's my responsibility. Coleta, can you help me? Yeah, leave it to me. Once we find them, I'll have someone get them out safe. Mm. What? You're... a lot nicer than I thought. After I said all those things about you, I thought you'd at least, you know, say something. Right now, our priority is to save them. I don't have time to get upset with kids. 
That's how cool grown-ups are. You get it? You should try to be like me when you're grown up. No way. You look stupid. Excuse me? Investigation records. We've located two areas. Which one would you like to investigate first, Wise? Weird graffiti. Pretty obvious, isn't it? It does look like a boat. Mm, let's figure out how to get past it first. Master, I have located a teleporter to the graffiti zone up ahead. Warning, I recommend you prepare... A huge ethereal has been awakened. Master, there's some graffiti on this signboard, but it's a mess. I speculate it's indicating a certain direction. Suggest you prepare.
one of the children we're looking for. I suggest we take the child to a safe place first before exploring the area. some graffiti in the shape of a fish. Any ideas on how we can get there, Proxy? The graffiti's pointing downwards. Master, I have located a teleporter to the graffiti zone up ahead.
I recommend. I have detected a trapped victim and a large number of ethereals up ahead. Target verified. Dan, please prepare for combat to rescue the target. Let's head back to Anton since we found both Dan and Leisha. Master, this is one of the children we're looking for. I suggest we take the child to a safe place first before exploring the area. Thank <laughs> you. 
you found both kids. Why don't I take them out of the hollow first while you guys keep looking for the principal? Emily, are you guys looking for the principal? Alicia and I can help too. When I was hiding, the principal and an adult wearing a strange helmet walked past my hiding spot. I think they were heading to a place called the break room. I was nearly busted by the principal while searching for a place to hide. They were standing nearby at the time, and the president said something about a break room and a hidden entrance. Seems like the hidden entrance to that break room is somewhere around here. Roxy, can you try to narrow down our search area? A new area has been located using our intel. Well, any luck? Lead the way, Proxy! Hurry up! Stop wasting time! Grab everything you can! You can't get away now, you jerk principal! Boy, principal, what's with that face, huh? The scout's back, so the carrot's still good. Though, he did say he almost ran straight into a mess of ethereal. Now, there were only small fries here before, nothing big. Looks like ether activity really is skyrocketing. This mine's getting dangerous. Look, if you want us to keep going, you'll need to up the compensation. Hey, you listening to me? Huh? Oh. Now, the moment I say compensation, you start zoning out. Damn cheap-ass bosses. No, 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 it's just a... I think I heard my Emmy's voice just now. If she... If she got caught up in the hollow. Starting to regret everything now? Who? Oh, the Bellabog brat. Don't you have more important business to tend to? I don't remember hiring you as a secretary, and yet you're so interested in my schedule. In that case, let me tell you about your upcoming schedule. Now, the Hollow has expanded, and it's affecting innocence. The reason for the expansion is your illegal mining of ether resources. And the Association will easily figure it out and get you if they look into it. Mr. Principal, are you still trying to shift the blame to someone else? Shift the blame? I don't know what you're talking about. The Association can look into my bank records if they wish. They'll find I've had no financial dealings with this gentleman here. Hmm. If the association did come after us, I got a couple of guys who might end up in trouble. But I'm sure they'll be on their best behavior in the slammer. They'll probably get out in a couple months, stops. And let's say what if, just what if, before all this came to a head, a lovely young lady just so happened to receive a significant payment to their account, and they weren't my wife, at least not now. Oh, of course I'll repent as well for not realizing there was such a serious danger in an area so near the school. You think no one can bring you to justice? Uh-uh-uh. Violence won't do, young Kaleida. That's the first lesson a person learns in elementary school. I'm middle-aged now. My life all spent on educating the young. I might be like this now, but I won my fair share of awards when I was young. Back then, I had an overactive sense of justice as well. But oh, how things change. I've always been a law-abiding man. No one needs to bring me to justice. Just think, a docile little hollow appears in an otherwise empty area under your supervision, and you just need to keep one eye shut for the Denny's to come rolling in. I simply did what any grown-up would do. If you placed this choice in front of a thousand people, a thousand would do as I did. No one I know would, because it's wrong. That sounds like something a little kid would say. 
so even children know it's wrong, but grown-ups don't. Emmy, what? Why are you here? I wanted to ask you something, Dad, but I don't need more. Emmy, listen now. You, you've got to behave. You're still young. You don't understand. This isn't what it looks like. Then what is it, Dad? Please, why would you do this when you knew it could put me and my friends in danger? Uh, you see, nothing is... You can't... We have to view these things in separation. That ethereal... It's massive! <laughs> Looks like it saved you from an awkward situation. Who knows? Maybe you'll even become good pals. you roaring about? Come on, you think just because you're big you don't have to pay attention to what others are saying? Damn! Gotta finish this quick before they get to the school! Then hurry up! Hey, who's the principal here? On target. Uh, I'd rather not be on bad terms with someone like that. Emmy, come here. <laughs> they just ran off on their own. Couldn't expect much better from a bunch of thugs. <laughs> they need to respect their elders more. After everything, you, President Kaleida, protected someone like me. I'm so touched that I've decided to rethink my actions and become a better person. Oh, whatever. Did you really think that's what I was going to say? Yeah, no. Don't think I've forgotten what you've done. If you hadn't dragged my daughter into this, she wouldn't be in any danger. The president of Bellabog Industries fakes her identity to lure a young girl into a hollow. What would your company do if they saw that headline, huh? Well, right now, Anton is responsible for PR. He'd probably tear up all the newspapers right then and there. Let's go home, Emmy. It's dangerous here. <sighs> Daddy will explain when we get home. You see, the world of adults isn't all black or white. It's... Completely rotten? Shut up. I've always thought the term, the world of adults, was... Weird. Don't adults and kids live in the same world? Even if it's just for their own kids, shouldn't adults strive to make the world a better place? When I was younger, I thought that whole world was rotten. Trying to make people just as rotten when they grow up. I was so angry all the time. Rebellious and afraid. Afraid it would make me rotten too. What about now? Now? I know growing up and becoming rotten are two completely different things. A person is a jerk because they want to be a jerk. Right? Jerk? What does a brat like you know? You inherited a company from your father as a kid. You know nothing of the struggles normal people like us go through. I won't be able to give my daughter anything if I don't fight for it. Emmy, don't listen to her. Daddy... <sighs> Daddy will apologize to you and your mother. Let's just go home. Oh. Kaleida, what should I do? Y you're asking me? I told you I'm not good at that father-daughter... stuff. Judging by your face, you want to take Emmy back with you, right? Hey, I, I didn't say that. The proxy did, but... What do you think? I couldn't let you stay forever, but you could at least stay with me for a while until someone you trust comes to get you. You really don't have to. Just get me out of here and I'll call my mom. Hey, where do you think you're taking my daughter? Get back here! Sorry to interrupt. My virtual pet suggests everyone leave the Holloway sap. Defeating that ethereal has caused some changes to the environment. 
Negative. It is both incorrect and, indeed, absurd to refer to me as a virtual pet. I am New Eridu's strongest AI. Hypothesis. The current conversation is not an awkward time to interrupt. I have located the nearest exit for you, Master. Everyone, the in hollow environment is shifting. We should go. It's about time. And, uh, hey, jerk. I'll be keeping an eye on you, got it? And don't even think about pinning the responsibility onto those thugs. They bailed on you just because of some ethereals. If you're gonna keep relying on them, you'll only get burned. Excuse me, it's rude to call me a jerk in front of my daughter. <laughs> Fine. I'll report this to the association myself and await their response, whatever it may be. But don't think you've won. Huh? Kaleda? You've actually caught two friends? Well, whatever. Give me your hand. You have to wash your hands before having snacks. Remember, wash thoroughly and scrub for at least 30 seconds. What a pain. I was gonna hold this meeting at the construction site, but then this guy was like, I don't wanna go somewhere with mud everywhere. So I had to hold the meeting here. You decided to come the moment you heard there were pineapple buns. Hey, don't say it like that. I'm not some fish in a pond begging for bread. I came for intel. So, what's the situation? If you're hoping to hear that my dad was punished and is at home repenting, you'll be disappointed. I'm living with my mom now, and she only just found out what was going on over there, too. The sub hollow's danger rating got raised, and the school wound up getting moved to a safer area. My dad got fired. But it didn't take much time for others to come and ask him to be a principal again. Not for a public school this time, though. It seems like it's a Topps company-affiliated school. Your father's income might even improve. And that's good, right? If he can pay us the money he owes, having to move and transfer schools is expensive. So, in the end, you still transferred, huh? Yeah, I couldn't do it. I can't just face everyone and pretend like nothing ever happened. I don't have the same kind of brain my dad does. I mean, all of it was directly because of dad. If that gets out, the other kids will never look at me the same way again. And then, it won't just be me. Dan and Lisa will get bullied too. As long as I'm there, those two idiots will stand by me to the end. So, since there were already plans to transfer, I decided I might as well go with it. Emmy, I... <laughs> the day before I left, I bought all the pineapple buns from the school store. You two are Kaleida's friends too, right? <laughs> Next time, I'll have you eat with me too. I feel like just having pineapple buns might be a bit dry. Give us a moment. Wise and I will go get some drinks. What do you want? Coffee, please! Grace was gonna come, but she pulled an all-nighter yesterday. I'll bring her back some coffee, too. I want nitro fuel! Hey, if you start drinking nitro fuel at your age, it's gonna stunt your growth. I'm sorry. Huh? I just feel like... We went through all that. But in the end, it didn't even mean anything. Yeah, after all, my dad didn't even go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's just... Uh, not 
Not only did we end up making you transfer, we didn't even manage to do anything that mattered. <laughs> Is suddenly getting all sad and emotional a grown-up thing, too? I don't think what you did was meaningless. After all, me and my classmates are safe now, thanks to you. And I'll grow up, too. And I'll get stronger. And become an adult. Not an adult like my dad, but an adult like Kaleida. <sighs> <laughs> You gotta become an even greater adult than I am. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. With my genetics, I'm gonna be at least 170 centimeters. Hey, genetics aren't as simple as you think. All right, cut it out. Huh? Our pineapple buns. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even realize we ate them. Compared to us, Seems like pineapple buns are more important to Kaleida. Of course not! Uh, hey, don't! Uh, here. Uh, half seats? If, if you want it. <laughs>